Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome to our channel. Today I am going to show you, or today we are going to talk about how to take care of an infant, how to take care of a baby, how to take care of a newborn baby, uh, who has a fever. How do you care for a baby that has a fever? Mm -hmm. What do you do for a baby that has a fever? And how to take care of a baby that has a fever? What you need and how to do it. So this is my son. Um, we went for his one month checkup yesterday. And he had, he took his shots. And now we came home. And he developed a fever, a high fever. So then I thought about it. I said, wow, this would be a really good video to shoot. In the sense that when my six-year-old was this age. And when he took his shots. Um, he got really sick. Not once, not twice. Every time he gets his shots, it would develop into a fever seizure. Seizure. Uh, which is the seizure that that due to a high fever, a really really high temperature. So it, it uh, the seizure due to that, and they call it a fib seizure. So the first time it happened, I didn't know what to do. Or the first time my son had his shots, I didn't know what to do. <clears throat> so, and now with this, my baby. From what happened to my first, my second son is still vivid to me, even though he's six years old now, but he's still raw and still so vivid to me that, knock on wood, I do not want to experience that with this baby at all. And I don't want no parent to experience that with that baby at all. It is not a good experience, especially waking up in the middle of the night. And find a baby in his crib uh, having a Caesar is one of the most horrifying, one of the most terrifying, one of the most scary thing any parent could ever, ever, ever fee I mean face. So when I when my son now his skin is hot, so I was like, oh my gosh, you know I had my son five years and I feel like five years apart and I feel like a new mom. What about a new mother? What about a mother that is having that baby for the first time? This would be a very good video to shoot since this baby is getting sick. So, now, sorry about the long explanation. Let's get into the video. Okay. In order to reduce the fever, in order to target the fever, in order for the fever to not overtake the baby, this is what you do and this is what I do. Okay. I have already done this before I thought about the video, but I'm going to explain it to you. First, what you do is, two ways you can do this. Either before you all go for the, the, the doctor appointment, the baby doctor appointment, you can either give him a Tylenol to go, and I strongly recommend a Tylenol. Do not give your baby any medicine at this point without a doctor recommending you to do it. No matter what. Tylenol, baby, Tylenol. Not just any kind of Tylenol. Baby, Tylenol. Give the child a baby Tylenol before you guys go to the, before you guys go for his uh, appointment. Or, if you forget you don't do that, you can give him or her the Tylenol right after you get home. So, those are two important things. Right before you go or right after you come home, you can give the baby Tylenol. It helps reduce the fever. It helps for the fever to not overtake the baby body. And that's the number one thing I forgot after I had my first son. That's the number one thing I forgot with my, with my second son. And that's what ended up happening. Like I said earlier in the video, he ended up developing a fever seizure. But... I after that I got hold of it I, I you know I took control over it so give the baby a Tylenol before you guys go okay so let's say you did all that and you come which I did with my baby 
and now the child is still developing a fever well at this point i'm sorry to say if it okay before i say what what i was about to say let me make something clear if it's just 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 the, the fever right after the shots if it's just the fever listen to me carefully please if it's just the fever after the listen to me carefully if it's just the fever after the shots if it's just the fever after the shots then i'm sorry to say what i'm about to say there is nothing a doctor can do because the doctor already knows that the baby is developing a fever after the shots is because of the shots that the baby received that's why the baby is developing the fever so the shots and the baby body they are kind of like fighting each other so that's the reason why and at this point there's nothing the doctor can do but there's a big but but if it's not right after the shots and the baby fever is high i strongly strongly highly recommend Call your child physician ASAP. Call your child doctor ASAP as soon as you can. Grab the phone and call the doctor. Okay, now we are considering. If it's just the fever, I mean if it's just after the, the shots, like my baby is. So, you take that temperature, which I'm about to do right now. So you take the temperature I bought this and I love this thermometer it's just for baby this thermometer is just for baby and you can find this at Walgreens I just love it and the reason I love it is all lined up so this one right here and it has the picture this one right here is it the is it oral and this one right here is it on the armpit you can put this one on the armpit and then this one I had before, I clip it together already. So this is how it comes, just little cute like this. But you can take this apart. This one says a recto. So this one is for the, you know, the hiney. So I'm going to take it from there and this is how you do it. Just like that. So now we're going to check his temp for his, I don't know if we should do the mouth. You know what? Let's do the arm. No, let's do the mouth. He'll be good with the mouth. Let's do this one. So you just pop it on and press it down and it works fine. And then you press this green, this blue button like this. And then you hear the beep. And it turns green and you just put it in his mouth. You hear the beep? And the thing I love is really fast. It's so so fast. It doesn't last. So his temp is his temp is 100.2. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'll put it here. It's 100.2. It was, before I could gain the tally, no, when I took it earlier, it was 101.2. So now it's coming down, which is a good thing. It's coming down, now it's at 102, but before it was 100.1, no, it was 101.2. 101.2, so it's coming down. Okay, now we've done that, then we're going to go ahead and give the baby a tally, no. And another important thing is, Please make sure you give the baby Tylenol 8 hours apart. Read the label. The label says 8 hours apart. Make sure you give the baby Tylenol 8 hours apart. Okay. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm not, I mean not for the sake of this demonstration. I am not going to uh, show you guys giving the baby a Tylenol because I gave my baby Tylenol 5 hours ago. I just look at the time. The, the last time I gave him Tylenol, it was at 11.35 uh, p.m. So right now it's 4. It's still 5 hours. I cannot give him Tylenol. So the next time I'm going to give him Tylenol will probably be around like 
seven ish so maybe i might record that one then but i don't know if i don't fall asleep because i have not slept and neither has he sleep we both have been up since 11. okay so then you're gonna give the baby Tylenol and this is another thing that I got and I want to show to all my mommies this thing if you guys can see it this thing is so so amazing so where did I put his Tylenol do I have it here no I put his Tylenol back in the refridge so and this thing let's say for example okay let's say for example this is the Tylenol so you just Put it in here and then you squeeze it and it sucks the it, it sucks the tiling out it sucks the tiling out, out of the the bottle and then you bend it down like this and then it will come to the amount you see those number right here it will cut down to the amount like that and then what I do is I'm like I said I'm not gonna give it to him so I put it in his jaw right here not straight in his throat and another thing I want to say is if you're giving a baby medication, do not put it straight in their mouth because they will spit it out. When they are moving, they will spit it out. So you want to angle it this way in their jaw and then you want to push it like here to the end of their jaw. So that way it drips down here. So it drips down. But if you shoot it straight like this, it's not going to work number one. It might go the wrong way. So you don't shoot it straight down because it might go the long the wrong way because they are moving their head and they are kind of like fighting you. You don't do that. So what I do is I put it in the jaw, in the corner of the jaw, the back of the jaw. So it drips down and that way it's so much easier for them to swallow. So that's how I give my baby medication. Okay. So then while we're doing all that, you see this from the the start of the video, I know you guys were like, why does she have the wet cloth on the baby head? So this is what I do. As you guys can see, I have a bottle of water next to me right here. That's what he and I have been doing throughout the night. And that's why his fever is coming down. So I just wet the towel and I just put it on his head like this. And another thing I'll do is, so I got the towel like this. And then I go around his head like this with, with the wet the towel has to be cold with a cold towel around his head like this trying to come i mean trying to bring down the fever the, the trying to bring down the fever make sure it's cold not lukewarm make sure it's cold because our number one goal here is we are trying to bring down the fever we do not want the fever to keep climbing yeah baby yes baby yes we do not want the fever to keep climbing and we don't want the baby to be uncomfortable so we're trying to calm the baby down when the fever is calm or when the fever is low the baby feels much better so you make the towel nice and cool wipe it around his head wipe his whole body with it from feet from the head to the toe that's what i've been doing with him all throughout the night and that's why it's going down so you wrap wet his head wet his whole body with a towel and then another thing you do uh, you another thing you are going to do is when your baby is sick and we are talking from 0 to 11 months so let's say for example if the baby is 11 months if they reach to the age of having cereals in their milk do not put any cereal in the baby milk do not make the baby milk thick that's the key word do not make the baby milk thick you know why if you make the baby milk thick they are already feeling uncomfortable they are feeling uncomfortable of course their stomach gonna be upset and they're gonna throw up with the with the food are you okay honey bun their yeah, stomach do not make the milk the baby milk thick let me show you what I do with my baby milk. Even though he's not taking anything other than just the powder. So you see right here. It's so watery. It's so, so watery. Just, even if you put in a powder in there, make the powder really small. So that way they will digest the milk really easy. And then it will help them to not throw up. 
they instead they will just peel with it and that's what we're trying to do another thing i want to say another key point i want to say is when you're making the baby formula please do not make it warm do not make it hot make it with room temperature and that's what i've been doing all night my baby is a baby that loves 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 his milk to be really really nice and warm because it helps him pass gas really fast but saying his skin is hot and i'm fighting really hard to bring the fever down yeah baby i do not want to give him any warm food because why his body gonna heat up and the temperature gonna go up our key here is we're trying to bring the temperature down as much as we can and as fast as we can. So the the so if you give him oh uh, house temperature milk, his body gonna be nice and cold. It's gonna fight the fever down. It's gonna fight to bring the fever down. So make sure the baby milk is not hot. It's not warm. Make sure it's just house temperature and you give it to him. If you want to add a little bit of cold water to it too. You know, so that's why I also do. I add a little bit of cold water to it to make it a little more cold. And give it to him to help his inside system. Uh, to make the inside system to help bring the temperature down. If, it, if that makes sense to you. Okay. So last but not least. Make sure the baby is comfortable. When I mean comfortable do not put a heavy clothes on the baby do not buckle the baby up with a bunch of clothes i did these mistakes these mistakes are the mistakes that i'm telling you that i made that make my baby go to the hospital and i scare the devil out of me so do not double when i mean double do not double the baby clothes do not put a thick clothes on the baby you see this is his blanket i am not even putting it on him he just laid flat like that. And you see this nightie that is on him? This nightie is so thin, like really, really thin, that it's even wet from putting all the clothes up, from putting all the wet towels on him. So his nightie is damp from that. And it's really, really thin. And do not put layers of layers of clothes on him. Do not put blanket on him. You might think he's cool. No, he's not cold. We are trying to bring down the fever. And another thing is, I know we are all mothers. Trust me. I'm a spoiled mother when it comes to love. I love loving my kids and hugging them and holding them so close to me. I love doing that. That's my weakness. So, we have to try to not do the skin to skin. That is another key point. We have to try to not do skin to skin. You know why? When the babies are born, they want us to do skin to skin with the baby to give them heat. For their our body heat and their body heat to help keep them warm. Because they were in our belly for nine months and used to that heat. So that's why they want us to do skin to skin with our babies when we born them. But when they are sick and their temperature is really high and we're trying to bring that temp down, we do not want to do skin to skin with the baby. Right now, I have this tempter on, but I'm trying really hard, and I and I have been like telling myself, do not do skin to skin with him. Do not do skin to skin with him. Do not do skin to skin with him. I have been. This is how I have been trying so far to pull him. I have been putting him on my shoulder. I have been trying to do whatever I can do without doing a skin to skin because why? I do not want that body temperature. And his temperature to carry the, the the fever high up. I don't want to do that. So I've been trying really hard to find a different way or a different loop to make him feel comfortable. Right? So we have to try to make the baby feel very, very comfortable for them to not cry. Get that banky, get that knock knock, get that pacifier, and try to make them as comfortable as we can. So, this brought the video to a conclusion. You have anything to say? Mm -hmm. Hey, turn to, to turn to everybody. I want to feel better. And I'll see you guys next time on our video. Say, so don't forget to subscribe, like, 
and leave the follow our instagram here and i will see you guys next time say go to our instagram mommy post a lot of video of me there read all right guys so that's the end of the video i will see you guys next time on our video take care bye